In occasione del congresso osteo-reumatologi che si è tenuto a Genova, il dottor Dennis Podubni ha tenuto un'interessante relazione sulla terapia della spondilite anchilosante. At this moment we have uh, two major drug classes which are uh, effective in ankylosing spondylitis and these are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and TNF alpha blockers. Both these uh, drug classes are very effective in reduction of pain and stiffness caused by inflammation and ankylosing spondylitis and there are also some data uh, that uh, these uh, drug classes might be also effective in uh, prevention or reduction of radiographic spinal progression in patients with, uh, with AS. Uh, the problem is uh, that there are only few data on structural damage progression in these patients and we need definitely more data. There are also several new drug classes which are promising with uh, regard of uh, inflammation control and from inflammation reduction in patients with ankylosing spondylitis. And these drug classes are uh, inhibitors of un uh, un uh, interleukin 17, interleukin 23, uh, and there are also some promising data regarding inhibition of uh, phosphodiesterase 4 and Janos uh, kinase. Uh, especially interesting uh, is a blockade of uh, IL-17 and IL-23. There are some data from a small pilot trials indicating good clinical efficacy of uh, these uh, drug classes and we hope that in the nearest future we uh, see uh, more data on this. Especially important would be it for patients who fail Uh, their first and second line treatment uh, mean uh, failed uh, non-steroidal and, and anti-inflammatory uh, drugs and uh, TNF alpha blockers. In the forthcoming ACR meeting, the, there will be a, a lot of presentations concerning uh, efficacy of these two new new drug classes.